Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody had a good uh, day of trading. Uh, let's talk about the market. So last night's video, uh, we talked about two things. Number one, uh, futures after a really, really big run for especially in the last couple of days, uh, market had a break, right? But unlike most markets that have breaks, uh, we did something very unusual yesterday. Not only did we take out uh, the previous day's low, and held the rising five to support, we took out the previous day's high. So the question going into today is, can we bust through this level here that we talked about last night in the video, that 284, uh, 285 level? And the way we close, uh, you saw a lot of names took out the previous day's highs. Like for example, NVIDIA. NVIDIA was a big one. We talked about that uh, last night uh, on the video. But more important was we kind of knew, we discussed this level here for potential possible rejection at morning strategy because again, it, it's you can't trade blindly. It's so hard to kind of trade blindly and not know levels where, where areas of supply comes in. And this is especially after three, uh, three days of really, really good action. Uh, market got stuffed pretty aggressively today and we saw the initial burst of really good buying today, especially names like uh, NVIDIA Snow that we discussed uh, last night, NVIDIA Snow, uh, Coinbase. And then once they hit, once the queues hit this number, everything started coming in uh, very, very quickly. The most impressive part, at least for today, was that uh, many of the stocks did not take out the previous day's low in today's session. If you look at the final tally, nothing bad, right? Nothing horrible. Uh, you saw the Dow down 350, the NASDAQ down like 40 points or so, but more important is what happens next. And unfortunately, what happens next is the event, right? We always talk about an event. The one thing we can't control are Fed days, earnings days, anything that we do not have complete control of the minute to minute, hour by hour action. And tomorrow you got the jobs number coming out. Again, you could be in a, you know you could be what however smart you think you are in the world you, you don't know what's going to happen okay nobody knows okay you can make a guess you can make a bet you can you can have water cooler talk with your friends nobody knows what that job number is going to bring if you had the numbers you know in front of you you still wouldn't know how the market is going to react and that's the bottom line so let's stop playing economists and stop playing and start playing adults and that's exactly what we are as trying to reiterate as being professional traders we're trying to take the information that we know is coming up that's out of our control and making the best of it and that's exactly kind of where we are here going into tomorrow right ironically if you look at the tape there's nothing really that bad that stands out yes there's a lot of names that are sitting on the bottom of their channels uh, we talked about uh, BJ last night, right? We talked about BJ on the video last night, broke down. I think this thing sees uh, 70 in its near future, if not 67 going into next week, assuming the market is, is lower. But again, if you look at a lot of names, you're not gonna see these eye-popping names in the bottom of the range just because we have this big rally. Uh, but there are some, right? A, a name like, for example, like Generac, uh, again, after the whole uh, hurricane, I, uh, Ian, Ian um, unfortunate events, it got sold, right? It, got, it keeps on getting sold into the hurricane. And now it's like one day away from the bottom of the range here. A name like, for example, like Docu, right? I'll definitely be watching tomorrow. Look at the bottom of the range here. It's held this whole range here several times here. So if it finally cracks tomorrow, if there's a bad jobs number, well, hey, again, we know we need to be prepared. Even a name like Tesla uh, that just cannot rally, just can absolutely cannot rally. But look how, look how tight this channel is. And I know it's gonna look like dental floss to a lot of you guys. But look how tight, tight the 60 minute channel is. Something has to, you know, something has to give here. It's either gonna take out the top of the channel here and have a really good um, uh, relief rally, or it's gonna take down the bottom of the range here, uh, the lows from Monday or Tuesday, and it's gonna start its next leg down. We saw earlier bets this week for the 230 puts. We also saw bets for Friday for the 250 calls. So, you know, something has to give here. The, the greatest thing about uh, technical analysis is you don't have to guess, right? It's either going to confirm the bottom of the channel here and we're going to be prepared or it's going to confirm the top of the channel here. You can see here and we're going to be prepared for that move uh, possible as well. So it all comes down to the jobs number. Okay. Uh, I think, 
you know, you have to make a watch list. You have to make an actionable list that you want to be uh, prepared for. But again, we don't know, uh, number one, what the, the data is going to come out. And number two, we don't know how the market is going to react. So based on uh, tomorrow's data, right, we're probably going to get a better clue of what the market is going to do. What we do know is two things tonight. Uh, AMD uh, came out with uh, and cut guidance, right? They cut guidance tonight uh, pretty much to, to expect from a lot of the semiconductor names. They use the same language over and over again. Supply chain issues, blah, 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 blah. So it's getting hit a little bit after the close. And if you look at a lot of the semiconductor names, uh, they're getting hit as well. So that's not a, a problem. The most important part that we need to watch out for tomorrow is not necessarily AMD. Again, I'll, I'll watch AMD at the bottom of the channel here. But the QQQs. Remember the, the, the lows they set a couple of days ago? Well, actually yesterday before the market rally. So the number to watch tomorrow in case there is a bad, bad number is this 275.40 level. If the Qs start building below this 275.40, then yeah, we're gonna start going lower. We're gonna start breaking and confirming below the five and the 10 day moving average. It should get pretty uh, pretty exaggerated. If the market is good and the numbers are good and the bulls kind of hold on to the gains that we've had in the last couple of days, then today's highs at you know, 284, 284 and a half area is gonna to need, to you know, need to start building over that level. It's price action is gonna to have to build uh, over that level to see uh, the continuation of what we saw for the last couple of days. So that's the macro view, right? So that's the macro view. Everything else is just noise. Opinions is noise. Um, you know, Twitter is noise. Stock tweets is noise. Facebook is noise. Everything. Your, your friends are noise. Every other trade, it's noise, right? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're either going to bust out above today's channel to the upside, or we're gonna buzz down below yesterday's low to the downside, and there's nothing in between. The, case, the question is how aggressive is this gap, go, gap up or down going to be, and how much meat are we going to have on the bones? Sometimes, again, when you look at technical analysis, the, the most important part is understanding and identifying the top of the range and the bottom of the range, and then kind of omitting everything else, and this is how your game plan for the next day is going to come into play. So going into tomorrow, again, it's all about uh, it's all about the data. We'll see how the day plays out. We we'll definitely have our game plan uh, that's ready to go. As far as today goes, you know, I wanted again to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Not everything exploded at the open, and, and again, honestly, we we've had. I think the rally today lasted about 20 minutes. It really did. Um, and, and then the rest of the day, the market kind of went sideways, like literally did absolutely nothing. Uh, there was definitely some moves uh, in the morning, the first 15, 20 minutes of the day, some aggressive moves, some stocks did not uh, confirm, but more important is the ones that did, uh, did very, very well. So let's talk about this. Uh, 134 on Boeing, I still like it, never came close uh, to that number. Uh, Apple stopped exactly again at the top of the range in this area. Square, I, I lost like 35, 40 cents on Square. It, unfortunately, it got rejected right at the top of the channel. Uh, excuse me, the Qs got rejected at the top of the channel off that 284s level. And unfortunately, Squ Square just didn't have enough push uh, to get it through. Uh, coin, nice little scalp on Coin. Uh, 7463 needs to build. Here was Coin. It went to like, the initial move was like the 75.70, ultimately went to like 60, 76.20s before it went down. So nothing, you know, a cup of coffee there, uh, nothing crazy there. Isle of Men never got there. This was definitely the trade of the day. Uh, NVIDIA 33.21 needs to build. So NVIDIA uh, gets above uh, 33.21, which was yesterday's channel. It gets above, and you can see here, this is, this is literally the whole day. Uh, it gets above it gets above this 3321 it gets above this Bollinger band at 3427 and just rockets uh, into the 13650s level really really good move on Nvidia obviously uh, it came in and obviously now it's having uh, the aftershock of AMD uh, AMD's uh, guiding law right uh, Microsoft didn't confirm either. Uh, I still like it above this level. Snow is just an absolute monster. I, you know, I just wish it was more liquid, but it really is an absolute monster. Uh, 186.54 needs to build. Here was snow, right? We talked about snow last night in the video. So it took out this whole range here, uh, 186.54, went as high as to 189.75. Uh, Held up really, really well, uh, considering how the market sold off here into the close. 
Uh, Tesla, I still like there. Uh, BJ's, we talked about this last night, 72 potential short swing below the 50 day. Not a big move yet, but again, these are not gonna be these massive moves because again, they're slower New York Stock Exchange names. Uh, here's a 72, close at the lows. Uh, again, it looks like 70, it's in its future. Uh, there was a sneaky pivot to the downside. Oh yeah, there's a, there a sneaky pivot to the downside on, um, on Tesla. There was a reload buyer there. Um, I got out a cup of coffee, nothing flat trade there. Uh, this one I didn't take. It was a little bit towards the end of the day. 241 sneaky chair needs to build. It traded to about 242.80s before the market completely imploded. Nothing big there. So again, look, not every single day you need to have uh, these rockets that are launched, but it's very, very important to be prepared so those rockets can at least be loaded. That's the most important part. Guys, big day tomorrow. We got the jobs number. We'll see exactly what happens. We got some longs we're prepared for. We got some shorts we're prepared for. Now we just need the number and see how the market participates in that realm. Guys, have a great night. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.